Hello. Hi, welcome to Curfew Cocktails. So what are we making today, Luke? We're making a margarita. Wow, why are we making a margarita, Luke? Um, because we did a tequila tasting a couple of weeks ago, including the Ocho tequila. Ah, um, and I went home and made myself a beautiful margarita. Ah. And I thought, you know what? Let's get into it. So what we did plan was that we were going to give you a recipe that would use any of the leftover spirits that you had been tasting from the week before. Um, so you remember that we had a pepper gin tasting last night and you will have seen the gin gimlet blood that we did last week. So that's what that was for. But next week we're actually tasting Shiraz. So we're not having a Shiraz cocktail, Luke. Though it can be done. <laughs> oh, now he tells us. There you go. All right, so what are we putting in here? We're putting in the uh, Ocho, which for those of you who haven't uh, seen the tequila tasting a few weeks ago. Um, this is their single estate um, tequila. It's a beautiful tequila. We're really putting nice. So for each uh, margarita, we've put a shot and a half of tequila. We've put a shot of lime juice and a shot of Cointreau. Right. Now, if that is a little bit strong for you, you can use something a little bit lighter like a triple sec or a curacao, but personally, Cocktail's a cocktail. Cocktail's a cocktail. Cool. All right. So, now, as we discussed last week, if you don't have a cocktail shaker, you can do this in the jar. And what you can also do is that you can put it in the jar, in the freezer for half an hour. Yeah. And then just shake it up over ice and pour. This is a really good tip. It's still quite dangerous. <laughs> close to oh, I have a it. tendency to... Oh. I feel my cocktail shake is too tight because I've seen a couple of people explode them across the room. Oh, well, Lord I'd, knows. I'd, rather be hit, I'd rather be hit by an elbow than an exploding drink. Unless your mouth's open. So you've got, a, you've got a very fancy strainer there. Again, if people don't have one of those, what are we doing? Putting point through pour a, it through a through, sieve. Through a sieve, a little sieve. Or if you're not afraid of a little bit of ice, which we tend not to be, um, by all means, just pour it, pour, pour it straight out, drink it with a straw. Final always works. <laughs> well, it is times like that. So there's your curfew cocktail for the week. Cheers. And I agree. Cheers. Have a good weekend.